Hey guys, it is Monday, March 22nd, and I have 20 eBay orders to ship out. Let's get to work. First couple things I went ahead and pulled from my storage unit. I've got two yearbooks going out. First one is from Thomas More College in Kentucky. That sold for $29.99 plus shipping. That is going out to a viewer named Chris. Uh, next is a UC, a University of Cincinnati yearbook from 1966. This one I took a best offer of $19 plus shipping. Each one I've got only got about a dollar or two into. I uh, saw that George Harrison shirt that I got from the Mojo Casher crew maybe about a month ago. Uh, I've got five or six dollars into that. That sold for $29.99 free shipping. And this right here is something I got from the garage sale on Friday for three dollars. It's a rainbow plant food thermometer, like a metal sign. But the thermometer is missing. Your name Easton reached out wanting that, and I sold it to him for $25 free shipping. Easton and Chris, guys, thank you both so much for the support. Okay, next thing going out is a pair of boots right here on C4. These are Merrill boots, really good brand to look out for. Got these from my guy Mike as part of a bulk buy, so I've got about $10 into them. Those sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Okay, next thing is in, let's see, it's an old inventory because it says B6, but I guess. Is probably down here. It is a coin, a challenge coin that I got from the Piqua resellers probably like six months ago. It's been a while. I got a whole bunch of challenge coins from them. I believe it is this one right here the uh, United States Air Force Special Investigations AFOSI. That sold for $19.99 free shipping. That's going out to a viewer and they say, long time follower of your channel, first time buyer. This coin means a lot to me. My dad is retired from the Special Investigations Division. Please include some stickers if you can. Thank you again, BG and Sons. There's no first name on here, so BG and Sons, thank you for the support. I'll definitely throw in some stickers for you. All right, we're going to E42 next. This guy right here sold. This is a uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figure. His name is Bebop or Private Porknose. That sold for $15.99, free shipping. Your name Jacob got that action figure. He says, I love your channel and you've inspired me to resell part-time. I watch your videos every night while I list items on my eBay store of my own named Secondhand Slasher. I'd love a shout out. Please send me some stickers if possible. And I have some of my own if you'd like me to send you some. Yeah, definitely. Your positive and overall happy attitude helps me appreciate my life more. Thank you. Jacob, thank you so much for the kind words, man. Thanks for your business. Okay, next thing we're shipping out is a PS3. Right here, I've got it all boxed up for the most part, although I don't think this box will be big enough to ship, so I'll have to find a different one. I got this in a recent Wapakoneta trip with a big bulk buy of stuff, so I've maybe got $20, $30 into it. It had the controller um, and the little cord for the controller. Had to order a separate power cord, but that was pretty cheap, and then I threw in an HDMI cable, but this thing worked great, and it sold for $89.99 plus shipping. Next thing we're shipping out are some cards. Let's see, I sold a lot of Pokemon cards. Um, this is in a different lot of stuff that I bought than the fake ones. And I messaged a buddy who knows the stuff and he said these are genuine. So I felt good auctioning them off. I started it at a dollar. Those sold for $17.50 plus shipping. Next lot is 25 baseball cards. There's a Hank Aaron, King Griffey Jr. Um, let's see. Is it this one? Yeah, this one right here. This one I started at a dollar as well. They sold for $31 plus shipping. And the same buyer got a lot of cards out of here, too. 25 basketball cards, uh, Michael Jordan, Sean Kemp, this lot right here. Uh, these sold for $20.50 plus shipping. I'll just combine these in the same box and refund him the difference in the shipping cost. Next batch of cards is going out to a viewer named Chris. He got 25 football cards. Let's see, there's the Tom Brady, uh, Jerry Rice, and... John Elway, so that's this lot right here, and then he got another lot over on C4. It has Junior Seau, Jerry Rice, and that is this lot right here. The two lots together sold for $30.50 plus shipping. Chris said that he and his son are getting into card collecting, so Chris, thanks so much for the support. Hope you and your son like those cards. All right, I'm gonna take a break from packing orders and answer a couple of viewer questions. First is from Domain Admin. Do you ever schedule a USPS pickup? Yeah, I've done it uh, quite a bit actually. I used to work out of my house and it was just convenient because I had a big porch to put all the packages out there. Uh, but with my warehouse, I haven't been doing it. I don't have a lot of space out in front of my door 
and some days I've got tons of packages and there'd be nowhere to really put them and then if it rains they'd all get wet so now that I'm at my warehouse I just go ahead and take them to the post office but if you want to schedule them it's really easy you just go to usps.com schedule a pickup I think you have to do it at least you know a day in advance like you couldn't schedule a pickup for the same day I'm pretty sure but yeah it's it's really convenient I think depending on which post office you're closest to some of them struggle with it more than others meaning they don't have enough you know carriers to get all the packages so that might be something that you want to talk to um, your local postmaster about before you start scheduling them Okay, next is from Adam Hartman. You have any advice for starting eBay with a low income? I want to start, but I've been hesitating because I don't make much. Is there a way I can start at $100 for spending? And where can I get packing and shipping stuff for a decent deal? Thanks, love all your videos. Yes, you can definitely start with a low income. First thing I would suggest, this is, you know, standard advice that a lot of people will give you, is just look around your house and see what you don't need or don't want anymore and just start with that stuff. But yeah, you could definitely start with $100. If you're starting, you know, with a low budget like that, my advice would be don't spend all that $100 on like one item. You know what I mean? Because it's going to sit for a while. It's going to take a long time to recoup that money and then put that back into more income. So focus on like, you know, dollar, two dollar, five dollar items, things like that to get started and build your store up. And then when you make sales, just put that money right back into, you know, your eBay business. I'd, I'd love to hear from you a year from now. You know, if you start this with a hundred dollars now, what you've got a year from now and how much you've made with that initial hundred dollar investment. Uh, for your second question, as far as um, shipping supplies, you can get a lot of free shipping supplies from USPS, whether in your local post office or on USPS.com. I think I've got like like eight or nine different you know variations of boxes that I use all the time that I get for free I also you know go to like cardboard dumpsters clean ones obviously that have clean boxes on a regular basis you can get a lot that way and then like bubble wrap you can get bubble wrap on eBay for like 35 40 bucks and that's for like this big 700 foot roll so i'll put a link down below for that but yeah just shop around i've got a lot of links below for inexpensive shipping supplies but there's a lot of free ones you can get as well Okay, next order has two lots of Ninja Turtle figures. First one is right here. Did an auction with this one, did an auction with the other one as well. The other one is on C3, uh, right here. Same buyer got both of these. Uh, each auction started at a dollar, and the pair sold for $83 plus shipping. Okay, next order is six lots of cards. We've got a handful right here in C4. There is a lot with Pedro Martinez. That's this one right here. And we've got a lot, football lot, with Montana, Brady, and Manning. That is right here. Then we've got, let's see, a baseball lot. Yeah, there's a baseball lot in here with... King Griffey Jr., uh, there's a uh, Chipper Jones rookie in here, and then the rest of them are over in A3. So we've got another baseball lot with a Chipper Jones rookie, that would be this one right here. Then another football lot right there, Montana, there's a Brady card in there, and a basketball lot uh, with Jordan, Durant, and a bunch of other ones, that's this one right here. Sorry, wrong lot, this is the one with the Durant. All six of these cards went to the same buyer for $145.50 plus shipping. And those are going out to your name, Jeff. Jeff, thanks so much for the support. Next order is two lots of a hair product right here. This is by Juve Tress. I sold one of these last week, and I just sold the last two to the same buyer for $99.98 free shipping. Okay, one more order for cards, and then that's the last of them. Let's see, we've got a lot of basketball. Should be this one right here with uh, Shaq and Kobe. And the same buyer got a lot of cards over here in C4 with Giannis, Shaq, and Kobe. These right here. Uh, the pair of these, I did an auction for each starting at a dollar, and they sold for $71.50 plus shipping. Next sale is kind of a weird one. I got this at a garage sale last year. Matter of fact, it's when Lonnie and Candace were up here hitting sales. I'm sure a lot of you guys watch him on Shed Flips. This is a... Corel Ventura, basically just like clip art images and like different fonts and stuff. And you know, I'm not really sure why this sells nowadays because I think you can get a lot of this stuff for free online. But somebody wanted it, I got it at a garage sale for five dollars and it sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Next thing is over here in A8, it is a Stein. Let's see, it's a quarter liter 
it says Alf, after all um, yeah this is it uh, i've only got about a dollar into this that sold for 14.99 plus shipping next thing is a sterling marlin car on the e2 rack let's see this guy right here it's the cores original version that sold for 24.99 plus shipping let's go on to viewer he didn't leave his name but he says hey john sterling martin was a favorite driver of mine thank you for all the knowledge and insight you inspired me and my kids to start a youtube channel and to start reselling could you please include a few stickers and thanks for all you do eup pickers Guessing that's Eastern Upper Peninsula in Michigan. Is that right? Anyways, thanks so much for the support. Wish you guys nothing but the best of luck on YouTube. All right, almost done, guys. Just a couple more to pull. Uh, next thing is an F42. This little guy right here. This is an Impact 850 rangefinder. That was part of that big hunting buy I just made. That's all for $149.99 plus shipping. And last thing we're pulling for the day is a hat old inventory code that said d2 so i'm guessing it's in here yeah this is it kb golf hat new with the tags that sold for 7.99 plus shipping all right guys all the orders are packed up but before i end this video i'm going to show you something my mom gave me this to sell for her and it is this large elephant that i'm pretty sure is jade or maybe jadeite i'm really not sure uh it might be hard to tell from the video but i'll put a measuring tape up to it and show you guys this thing is pretty big it's about 12 and a half inches tall and I'd say roughly 16 inches long. Just a really cool piece. And I've been trying to find a value on this thing and I'm having the hardest time figuring something out. All the jade elephants I see online are really small, you know, three, four inches, something like that. But this thing is huge. It's got some weight to it too. We'll go ahead and throw it on the scale. So yeah, it comes in right around nine and a half pounds. There's no markings on that thing anywhere, so I have no idea what to price it at. And I'm hoping somebody watching this has sold stuff like this before has some kind of indication. So if you guys have any tips, tricks, any kind of opinion on value, I'd love to hear your input. Just leave a comment down below. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.